this is Chris Watkins, Assistant District Administrator with California District 55 Little League. This training view video is to show umpires and tournament directors how to log into the Arbiter system uh, and self-assign games. When you're put into the Arbiter system by the District 55 staff, you should receive a welcome email to the email address that was provided. Uh, that welcome email will include your username, which is typically your email address, uh, along with a password. Uh, the email will also include a link to the Arbiter system, which is at arbitersports.com. You can also access uh, a hyperlink from the District 55 umpire webpage. So at the Arbiter Sports page, you will click the login screen and I will log in with my training password or training account and as a new user the first thing that you need to do is you'll be asked to uh, create a couple security questions uh, and then you must accept the terms and conditions uh, for the Arbiter system before you can proceed. Uh, so here, the next thing it'll ask you to do is to create your permanent password. And so we'll type in the temporary password that was sent in the email. And then uh, a new password. And then click the change button. You'll then reach the screen that says your password has been changed. And just click OK to continue. Uh, this will take you to your profile page uh, where you can save some preferences there. And then we're at the welcome page of the District 55 site. Uh, so here it's got my name, uh, the District 55 Little League, the group number, who I am the official up in the top up here. Uh, we'll cover the profile. So my personal profile, uh, first name and last name, my email address. Uh, it's important to make sure that uh, we have a valid cell phone number for you. Uh, that way in the event you're assigned to a game and um, somebody can't make it, uh, they can. You, there's a number that they can reach you at. Uh, type in your address and uh, if you want you can reset your security questions. So from the home page here to get to the self-assign you'll click on the schedule link at the top uh, and then look for this self-assign link. If the self-assign link is not visible to you uh, that suggests that there's something wrong with your profile. If you've just logged into the system uh, and accepted the terms conditions, uh, there's some other backend uh, tasks that need to run uh, to set you up to be able to assign games. So you may want to check the self-assign the next day or make sure you create your profile at least one day before you want to pick up some games. So clicking the self-assign link will take me to the list of all the games that I'm available to select. Uh, all the umpires uh, and tournament directors are assigned a ranking based on their uh, skills, their expertise, uh, their experience, uh, umpiring and tournament directing. Tournament directors have all the same ranking, but umpires have various rankings. If you're looking to improve uh, your ranking, then uh, attend more training clinics, uh, become more familiar with Little League Baseball, talk to your local UIC or league president on uh, ways that you can improve your ranking. Uh, it, higher rankings uh, are required for championship games um, and, and higher level games. So clicking self-assign, I can view all the games that I'm available uh, to select. Uh, and the first thing that you'll notice here in this view is uh, each line is a position. 
so the game number is just an arbiter number. It doesn't apply it really mean anything. The position we have here for the plate, the date and time that the game is, uh, the level that it is, whether it's the 910 All-Stars, Junior TOC, uh, Section Tournament, uh, whatever level it is, that will be listed here. Uh, where the game is located, what field. Uh, the home and away teams typically are left blank. The distance uh, from your home to the field, that's why it's important to have your home address in your profile. And of course, uh, all games for District 55 are volunteer, uh, so the pay column is something that we cannot remove out of Arbiter. You'll notice here that for game 121, there's plate first and third. There is no second base. Uh, for training purposes, we've set second base at a higher ranking than what I, as the umpire, am. So I am unavailable to pick up second base for this particular game. Same thing goes for game 122, and same thing goes for 123. So you can only see games that you are able to select. Uh, if, if the plate for example, requires uh, a top level ranking and you are a brand new umpire, so you have a relatively low ranking, you might not see any plates when you, uh, when you log in. So if you want to select uh, a position, uh, what you'll do is on the assign column here on the one that you want, you'll click the go button. and Arbiter will return the message, hopefully successfully assigned as plate on game number 121. And uh, now you can see game 121 is no longer available for me because I cannot take two positions on the same game. Uh, so now I'll take first base on game 123. and successfully assign first base on game 123 and then I will take uh, third base on game 122. So if you are a tournament director you won't see plate first, second, and third. You'll only see the tournament director slots for um, what you are available for. From here, <coughs> from here if I click back on the calendar link I'll now see a list of the game numbers, the position that I have, the day and time of the game, the level that I'm umpiring at, uh, this would be the field location, uh, and that I've accepted it and the date that I have accepted it. From the calendar view, I can now click a game number to give me information about who I'm working with on that game. So here we have the game number 121, the date and time, the level, and the location. Uh, and here are all the, the available positions. We have a District 55 representative, we have a tournament director, a plate, a first, second, and third. And so when, as these positions fill up, the person, uh, the name, and their email address and phone number will appear. So it's important that uh, before you travel to your game, you might want to look at this information and certainly print out or write down the tournament director's name and phone number in case of an emergency comes up and you need to call them and let them know you might be late to the game, you can't make it to the game at all. Uh, same thing with uh, your partners uh, on the game. Uh, having their personal information or having somebody that you can contact at the game site to let them know that perhaps an emergency has come up. So that covers how to log in and self-assign games within Arbiter for District 55. We hope this training video has been informational and we hope you're available to umpire or tournament direct several games for us.